Good lord, man, this gets me every single time I see it. I can't believe how good these things came out. And dude, it just goes so well with the color of the firewall and the frame. Like, I don't know, it's gonna tie together freaking awesome. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the garage, man. Today, yes, title and thumbnail is true. We are gonna be pulling this EF out. As you guys know, I've had this thing sitting back here for quite some time. We picked it up. It's a barnyard find. I was coming in there to check the status of the spray booth. I don't remember what condition I left it in, but I think I was gearing up to start actually sandblasting all this hardware but we're gonna have to move it aside for the time being but as you know i'm waiting for all my zinc coating stuff to show up but we are going to be working on some parts for the blazer today i need to spray the back side of these oh my god dude did <laughs> Alright, so other than just the back side of these fenders, we also have a bunch of stuff for that EF that we need to spray black. Last time we were working on this, I pulled all of the trim and everything off. So I pulled the mirrors off and I pulled these trim pieces off. I got all that pulled off so we can spray it black. We can respray it and clean it up. remember if this was an 88 or 89 i just i know it's 88 89 i'd have to find the title and figure it out anything that's missing from it is because i took it off so the door panels are off but they are back here and i only did all that because i was cleaning it up i mean it might be split but you know what it's got a freaking cargo cover you, you know what i'm saying and these plastics aren't even that bad anyhow i'm gonna get all this stuff out and get it into the booth all the things that uh we need to paint black Honestly, I don't even remember this, but this is the wing that is in it. It obviously used to be red and somebody painted it black. Only thing that sucks is it is not silver. Like I would rather it be silver. All right, so that's all the stuff we got. If I am gonna put this back on there black, I'm gonna need to respray it because that looks like shit. Now the, the windshield wipers obviously are gonna need to be sprayed. And this is the rear one, right? Did that have a rear wiper? Oh, wow, okay. You see, I thought that was only like an SI thing. Who knows? These door trim pieces most certainly have got to go black. This mirror isn't in terrible condition. I could probably just kind of wax it a little bit. If I can just like brighten up the plastic, I'd much rather do that. The factory plastic will always look better than putting paint on something. But this is the passenger side mirror and that thing is not from an EF. <laughs> I think that was from like a Prelude or it might have been from a Civic, but an older one. Maybe like the CVCC or I don't freaking know. But this thing was mounted on the passenger side. I remember they had silicone. Like siliconing the gap shut. You know what I'm saying? There is a block off also. It's still out in the car. So I don't know. I, I think that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and just not do these plastics. Not do the mirror. Just kind of wax them a little bit. So we don't have as much stuff for the Civic as I was expecting. But we most certainly got fenders for the Blazer. Dude, these things look terrible that's what the entire engine bay looked like but before i get too terribly far into prepping this stuff i want to get that hatch moved out front because i don't want it sitting directly in the line of fire whenever we start painting freaking yeah bro the sandblaster is kicking ass right now that was definitely the move for sanding these things i've always just sanded these with the da and then a little bit by hand you know what i'm saying but you don't ever get all deep down inside of there and especially that spring yeah i'm extremely satisfied with that i also sandblasted these the only thing that sucks is they didn't fit so i had to kind of deal with the door open so now there's shit all over the floor again moving on It 
doesn't get much easier than that. <laughs> I have to kind of reach up there, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with a the self etching primer. You always have to like hit that joint right there and then go ahead and open it. So you actually cover the whole thing. We got primer on all of our parts that are for the Civic. We gotta wait for the primer to now dry. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these fenders prepped up, the inside of them for paint so that we're just keeping our sails busy. Son of a bitch. Oh. I knew I had another can in there. Ain't that right, Tubby? Ain't that right, Tubby? Ain't that right, Tubby, 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 Papa? You little fluffy puppy. For those of you guys who don't know, that's Toby's son. If you guys, if you guys didn't know, it's it's Toby and his son. Oh, Papa, oh Toby, yeah. Love you guys. Whoever painted this thing last, they didn't even take the bumper off, bro. <laughs> Reset. 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 Reset! That's better. I started to get a little overwhelmed whenever it starts to get like messy in here. Honestly, the hose right now, that's driving me freaking nuts. Now that it actually plugs in inside the booth, I, I think my hose is a little bit too long. That's what she said anyway. But I am going to paint the hinges black. These are getting painted black. I'm going to try to paint this silver. We'll cover that here in a little bit. Um, those are all getting painted black. I know I said that I was going to paint these black as well, but you know what I think I'm going to do is color match them. Using that same paint that we've been using, what I just used on the fire, wall I'll tell you what man this is this has got to be like 75 percent reducer at this point because i just keep reducing it to make it more and more we have really gotten our money's worth out of this pint this was just a pint too it wasn't even a full quart this was a pint anyhow oh yeah dude that should be plenty
Dude, these came out really freaking nice, man. I'm actually really happy that I decided to color match those. the wing all prepped up and i am gonna spray this silver i think i already said that um i went ahead and i just painted all the black stuff because i mean so i have these three cans of like automotive spray paint silver that uh there's three silvers in there they're all different i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up on the cap but they're all slightly different i took these out there to the hatch and this one looks like it matches the closest so i'm gonna use it do i think it's gonna be dead on perfect of course not but i mean it's faded silver paint i think just at least spraying it silver and this this does look pretty close i think it's gonna look better than painting it black bro and luckily it's the wing it's kind of a detached piece of the car so it's not gonna stand out it's not like like if we were painting a door and the door is sitting against the quarter panel like that hard line like you'd be able to really tell if it's a different color it's not going to stand out that bad on the wing not to mention like i said i think this is a pretty close match so It's now the next morning and we got all this stuff sprayed last night so it's had plenty enough time to dry so for the most part all this stuff is ready to be thrown back on but the car ain't ready so we need to get out there get the car cleaned up what the hell are you doing Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? Go get it. Don't, don't let it hit the truck, man. <laughs> Happiest dog in the world. Bro, what the hell is that? When I first got this, we started cleaning it up and let's be honest, man, it sat in my backyard for a long time, so it's no longer cleaned up at all. So we have quite a bit of work to do to get this thing spit shined out. I'm gonna start off with obviously, we gotta get all the dust off the best we can, kind of vacuum a lot of this stuff up before actually spraying it and just turning it all to mud. I would really like to paint this portion because that just looks like shit. I mean, there's a lot, there's some imperfections on the car that we're not going to be able to do anything about right now. I found that wing in the back of it, and I thought that was the one that came off of this car, but oh my god, look how freaking perfect that is, too. I can't believe I literally sanded and primered, sprayed an entire wing silver when I had this one sitting, like, dude, what the freaking hell, man. <sighs>
all the dust and dirt and everything all blown off of this thing, mostly on the inside. And since we haven't had these trim pieces on here, the inside of the door filled up with shit. Anyhow, now we get to do the exterior. And I'm gonna hit these tires with some of this super clean foam. Let that start just soaking in there and doing its job to get all that crap out of the rubber. the 4400 psi pressure washer with this little shorty ass handle on it that's a workout trying to pressure wash something dude like i literally felt like i was in an arm wrestling match for like 15 minutes but we got this thing all cleaned up man inside and out the inside needs to be gone over a little bit better got all the dust out of it and vacuumed it up and stuff i do want to kind of wipe it down and stuff inside of there We got our lower trim pieces on and we got the upper trim portion painted. Windows are all buffed. Uh, now what we need to do is put all these little plastic pieces on. But like I mentioned before, I want to try to kind of wax these things also. So I'm going to be using the exact same stuff that I just used on the windows, man. It's nothing special. It's Meguiar's cleaner wax. It's just some stuff that I picked up from Walmart a long time ago. Just something I had sitting on the shelf. All right, holy shit, that's gonna have to freaking dull down a little bit, man. That literally turned this into a piece of glass, bro. What the hell? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. It looks pretty good.
All right, so that thing sits a little bit funky. Like it sticks out. So <laughs> I think whoever it is that removed this and put that weird mirror on here didn't know how to get it off and they were probably trying to pry on it like this. Here's what it is. I think it's a cool piece because it is original, but I'm probably just gonna go ahead and put a mirror there. I do have the stock mirrors in the parts corner somewhere that came off of khaki. So I'll have to search for those and I'll, I'll actually end up just putting a mirror there rather than that block off. But speaking of mirrors, <laughs> Dude, there is not a single broken clip or a single missing screw on these door panels at all, man. Everything, absolutely everything is there. Uh, for whatever reason, this is blue. That's how it was when I got it. There is some unfortunate wear up here on the top. At least it's not as bad as some of them that I've seen. for the most part put together um, now what I'm wanting to try is boiled linseed oil I'm interested to see how this works on the bumpers when we were cleaning this car up before we did do the torch method on the plastic in which it did make a pretty big improvement but it has since faded again it doesn't look as bad as it did whenever I first got the car but I'm interested to see how long this lasts I think that this is going to be somewhere in between doing the torch and just smearing like tire shine all over it and if you guys have ever put tire shine all over your bumpers you know that that only lasts maybe a couple of days if we can put this on here and it makes the bumpers look good and it lasts a month and a half doing pretty good man <laughs> Well, there it is, man. It's all put together. It's all cleaned up. Of course, it's not perfect. It's got flaws here and there. Of course, it does suck. It's also a shell, you know? <laughs> I would love to put an engine and trans in this and actually get it running. Oh, shit. I really hope the passenger door is unlocked. Whew. Guess I was wiping this stuff down. I didn't pay attention. I locked the door. The key is in the ignition. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, it came out really nice, dude. This car is in amazing condition. I mean, for what it is, for how old it is, it's just in really great condition, and it's really freaking complete, dude. Like, it is nuts how complete this car is. You just don't see this very often anymore. 
So there's one thing I feel like you're probably all dying to see right now, right? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs>